see why it's so important to be exposed to the Holy Ghost for who he is because you will be changed into someone who looks and acts and behaves like he looks and acts and behaves number one you're wealthy healed and healthy and your youth is renewed The Holy Ghost God is God in the earth Jesus today, right and we walk with Him by saying words. My name is Andrew Hemstraw. Thank you for joining us. If this is your first time here, make sure you subscribe. If this isn't your first time here, and these messages are blessing you, then consider becoming a partner with us. Well, there are things that exist in this household of faith. Say, this household of faith. This household of faith we have certain things that exist here and i'm really going to talk about that today why they exist here so strongly say they exist here, they exist here. So, strongly. so strongly it's because we've become we've come to know the holy ghost as the living god and are in a personal relationship with him jesus said he would come to be with you and abide with you who comes to be with you and abide with you Holy Ghost so as you get to know him you're gonna change your opinion should change and you should start to be influenced by him and his things yes. and in this house we are influenced greatly and strongly by his things yes. which come with him mm -hmm. so we believe certain things in this house that maybe others don't believe and we live certain things in this house that other people don't live does that make sense yes. third john verse 2 beloved i wish above all things now you have to understand this scripture was inspired by the holy ghost to say this and he said above all things what that you would prosper so not only is it john the apostle's will above all things that these people would prosper but it's the holy ghost's will mm -hmm. say it's the holy ghost's will, holy ghost's holy ghost's will. that you prosper Amen. Yes. above all things yes. beloved i wish or pray above all things that you may prosper and be in health even as thy soul prospers so you got prosperity and health and those are two things say two things that exist strong in this household of faith because we know him the one who wrote this and the one who believes this yes. you know the holy ghost believes this right is the holy ghost strong in prosperity mm -hmm. is the holy ghost strong in healing yes. first he talks about being rich say being rich, being rich. Say being rich. being rich you know what that is right yes. it's the opposite of poor and, and it's the and it's and it's beyond just having enough and having your needs met mm -hmm. you know and a lot of people especially in the Christian circles they think if you just have your needs met you're doing well well maybe you are but you aren't that say rich is having my needs met, rich is having my needs met. and more and right yes. and I think it's very curious he says above all things that you would prosper and be in health so that's one and two and then a close third cousin that we're going to talk about tonight that exists in this house is youth renewal Amen. strong say strong. strong we're strong on youth renewal we're strong on prosperity and we're strong on having you healed of every sickness and every disease and living in divine health and every cell organ and tissue of your body healed Amen. and functioning perfectly yes. how can we be that strong in it because the Holy Ghost is that strong in it he's the one we're serving and worshiping mm -hmm. so if you're in this house these things exist in your faith these are your purview now some don't get this i'm going to say something in a second some don't get it it's because it's too it's not religious enough for them i say a lot of things like that 
but we worship him the Holy Ghost we worship him the Holy Ghost for his benefits we're worshiping him so that we can get his benefits say his benefits. his benefits and I just said three of them one of the benefits is prosperity then uh, the other one is healing and health complete healing and health for every cell of your body and youth renewal mm -hmm. we serve him for these benefits the benefits are the things that he does who does he do them for he does them for those who worship him psalm chapter 34 verse 7 the angel of the lord encamps round about them that fear him and delivers them who does the angel of the lord encamp round about them that fear the lord right yes and we know i've preached on this many times the word fear can be interpreted worship so the angel of the lord encamps around about them that worship the lord are you here yes. say when i worship the lord, I worship the, lord the holy ghost the, holy the, angel, of the, the angel of the lord encamps around about me, around about me. is that a benefit yes, yes. He's presenting this as a benefit and as a promise. You know, a promise is a benefit. Why would you do the thing before the promise is to get the promise, yeah. right? Well, he's including worshiping the Lord as the precursor of having the angel of the Lord and camp round about you mm -hmm. and deliver you. And religious people would say oh it's wrong for you to worship the Lord to get the benefit that's what he's telling you to do exactly. Amen. I worship him for the benefits get over it oh how selfish of you oh how selfish of you to obey the scriptures come on verse 8 oh worship the Lord you his Saints for there is no want to those that worship him yes. when you come to know that the holy ghost is god and you worship him you find out that with him is no want well, there is no want to those who worship god are you seeing there must be a connection there worshiping god the holy ghost and having no want having no want meant was must mean that you are made rich yep. Yep. remember it's the first thing his will for you mm -hmm. so it's scriptural to worship god and expect promises mm -hmm. say it's scriptural, it's scriptural to worship god, god. and expect promises expect well here in this faith we do both we worship God and expect promises deal with it say I worship God, I worship God. and I expect promises yes. whose promises his promises yes. right yes. he said if you worship me I'll do this so don't get mad at me when I'm expecting him to do what he said he would do if I worship him Amen. and he does second corinthians chapter 3 verse 16 nevertheless when it shall turn to the lord the veil shall be taken away now when a veil's taken away it means you see something that you couldn't see when the veil was there yeah. right yeah. so when the veil's taken away i'm gonna see something that i didn't see before right. let's just read on and see what we will see the veil shall be taken away veil taken away now the lord is that spirit. that spirit not jesus the spirit the holy ghost now the lord god in the earth is the holy ghost and when the veil's taken away you will see him the holy ghost for who he is that he is god right yes. And where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Obviously, a kind of liberty and freedom that you couldn't have before the veil was taken away and you were exposed to the Holy Ghost as being the Lord God in the earth. Yes. We walk in this faith in liberties that other people can't walk in mm -hmm. 
are you here yes. because the veil's been taken away and we see him as the Lord God in the earth today mm -hmm. and that Liberty we're being exposed to verse 18 but we all with open face beholding that means being exposed to as in a glass or a mirror the glory of the Lord the glory of the Lord would be his stuff there's another word for glory it's often translated wealth mm -hmm. we're being exposed to the glory of the Lord or what the Lord has his things do you suppose his things number one is wealth yeah. number two is health and healing mm -hmm. and number three is youth renewal we are exposed to that in this faith in this household of faith where other people aren't exposed to it and you may hear something about it now and again but not like this well I've never heard it like that beholding as in a glass the glory of the Lord are changed into the same image from glory to glory even as by the Lord who is that spirit or the Spirit Lord who are we changed by the Spirit Lord but we're changed from glory to glory by being exposed to one from one level of glory to the next and if you're going to some place where you're not being exposed to the Holy Ghost as God and his things then you can't be changed into those things mm -hmm. say I'm being changed, I'm being changed. Into, those into those things it's his glory it's his things that's his glory yes. are you here yes. worship takes you behind the veil when you start to worship God the Holy Ghost as God you start to know him as God and if you knew him as God you would worship him as God it goes both ways but as you do that you're being exposed to him and his glory from one measure of glory to another level of glory are you here have you experienced this do you see it do you know what I'm talking about and some of his glory is wealth and healing divine health and youth renewal there are other things I'll talk a little bit about the other things but I want you have to start somewhere right. where did he start third John 2 right. beloved I wish above all things that you prosper that's where you start you got to start seeing God as a God of prosperity and when you're worshiping him you're worshiping a God of prosperity and when you see that look at what it says as you're beholding that part of his glory you're changed into the same image worship takes you behind the veil that's who you begin to see say when I worship him, when I, worship him I begin to see him who the Holy Ghost as God first you begin to see him as God and then you start to see his glory and his things is this making sense we see him especially here here we see him in a way that other people don't see him because they've been instructed out of it but worship takes you behind the veil where you begin to see him and you keep going we see him first Timothy chapter 6 verse 17 charge them that are rich in this world that they be not high-minded nor trust in uncertain riches but in the Living God and we know who the Living God is right the Holy Ghost who gives us richly all things to enjoy who gives us richly all things to enjoy Holy Ghost <laughs> It tells you he gives you richly all things to enjoy do you suppose that if you come to know the Living God and you bump into him that you're gonna find out that he's the one who gives you richly say richly, richly. all things to enjoy who does it living God who's the Living God Holy Ghost part of what he does part of what he has is the ability to give you richly all things to enjoy what does that make you rich 
well if you're here in this house when i say this house i mean this household of faith you see him the holy ghost as the living god he is a god of wealth and you start to see him as a god of wealth is this any good yes. you see him as a god of healing and supernatural health you start to see him as a god of youth renewal these are part of the things he has and does you see him as a god who gives you richly all things say things things to enjoy i enjoy wealth say it i enjoy wealth, I enjoy wealth. say i enjoy healing say I enjoy health I enjoy what are you lying no you enjoy that I enjoy youth renewal oh the joy of youth mm -hmm. Amen. he gives you rich these are all things you're Amen. right Amen. these are all things and they're all things that the Holy Ghost has yes. and he gives you richly them mm -hmm. when you know him as the Living God yes. is wealth a thing yes, yes. <laughs> wealth is a thing he gives you richly all things right wealth is a thing healing and health is a thing youth renewal is a thing and i enjoy them all say i enjoy them all, enjoy them all. in this house we enjoy them all deal with it wrap your head around that Say, I enjoy them all. I enjoy them all. Where? In this house of faith, in this house of belief in the Holy Ghost as the living God. Have I brought you up to here? Mm -hmm. Well, these things are in this house. These things are his things. These things are his things. How do we know that? Well, we know the scriptures, but we know him. We, we're being exposed to him which takes us from one glory to the next yes. right we're not being exposed to a religious concept which takes us from one glory well remove it into nothing and that you know the scripture from glory to glory to, it doesn't stop the more you're exposed listen the more you're exposed to the Holy Ghost and who he is the more glory you can stand Right now you can't stand it because you haven't been exposed enough mm -hmm. these things are his things and you will be changed by being exposed to his things into that thing mm -hmm. if one of his things from the holy ghost is wealth if you're exposed to the holy ghost and his wealth what are you going to be changed into a wealthy person if you're exposed to the Holy Ghost and his things of healing and health perfect health say perfect health. perfect health put your mouth on that and start saying perfect health perfect health perfect health complete and perfect health and healing and health are you here yes <laughs> if you're exposed to his healing and health what does that make you a healed and healthy person yes. if you're exposed to him and his youth renewal what does that make you you will be younger your physical body will be younger it will respond younger and you'll look younger you'll be better looking mm -hmm. say i'll be better looking, better looking. Amen. these things exist in this house you know you can get mad at me all you want i'm telling you the truth i know it for a fact that these are things that are in this household of faith where we worship the holy ghost and we get to know him well you will be changed into a wealthy person you will start thinking like a wealthy person you'll start speaking like a wealthy person you'll start acting like a wealthy person i guarantee you and you'll see yourself like a wealthy person remember that verse of scripture said that we look in the mirror and we behold him and we are changed into the same image like we're looking in a mirror we see his glory and it gets on us 
and we start to see ourselves as a wealthy person say I see myself, I see myself. As, a as a wealthy person say I see myself, I see myself. As, a as a healthy person completely healed say I see myself as a younger person how can you say that because we worship the Holy Ghost and in this house these things exist Amen. and they're things they're real things yes. you're gonna see yourself like he is can you see why it's so important to be exposed to the Holy Ghost for who he is because you will be changed into someone who looks and acts and behaves like he looks and acts and behaves mm -hmm. and number one you're wealthy mm -hmm. healed and healthy and your youth is renewed yes. so if you don't see him that way you can't go there are you seeing this yes. so first you have to see him that way most people don't but we hear do and when you keep seeing him that way you're changed into that image we're seeing him that way proverbs chapter 10 verse 22 the blessing of the lord now if the holy ghost is the lord god in the earth today and he blesses you it makes what rich and adds no sorrow with it how could that be it's because that's who he be yeah. and so he's blessing you with what he has and it makes you rich mm -hmm. it makes you rich it makes you rich it makes you think rich thoughts it makes you speak rich words it makes you do rich things yes. makes you a rich person what the blessing of him Deuteronomy chapter 8 and verse 18 thou shalt remember the Lord thy God who are who are you remembering is the Lord your God in the earth today the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost. and you're beginning to know him and see him for who he is Amen. right yeah. thou shalt remember the Lord thy God for it is he mm -hmm. that gives thee power to get wealth now if he's going to give me power to get wealth he must have power to get wealth yes. right yes. is that a promise yes. he's telling me to remember him that way for him to remember him I have to have already known it that way mm -hmm. so you have to come to know him as one who gives you power to get wealth yes. well here in this household of faith you all right with me saying that yeah. this household of faith we believe things that a lot of people don't believe because they haven't come here here into this kind of faith well here in this household of faith wealth needs to be in your vocabulary say wealth, wealth. and you can't stutter about it and you won't listen you won't stutter about it when you begin to know that the Holy Ghost is a God of absolute wealth and he blesses you with his wealth he's not a poor God wealth needs to be part of your vocabulary now is it part of his vocabulary is wealth part of God's vocabulary yeah the Holy Ghost vocabulary he's a, he wrote this right let me just read it lest you get angry but thou shalt remember the Lord thy God for it is he that gives thee power to get wealth say wealth. wealth it's part of God's vocabulary and if we are going to walk with God the Holy Ghost in the earth it needs to be part of our vocabulary if he said he's given me power to get wealth what am I saying that he is giving me power to get wealth that's how you walk with God can you see how we have some things that other people don't have you must agree with him and if you don't have wealth as part of your vocabulary you're not agreeing with him you're agreeing with some religious concept 
psalms 112 verse 3 says wealth and riches shall be in his house whose vocabulary is that yes. that's the holy ghost's vocabulary and you got to get it in your mouth so you can agree with him yes. now the first thing that we saw there in third john verse 2 was that it was his will that you prosper and we can see in these other verses of scripture that he intends to make you rich are you here yes you know that just turns some people right off why i'm not just saying he intends to make me rich which he does but he intends to make you rich mm -hmm. we've been talking about the first thing god making you rich first thing god did to abraham look at genesis chapter 12 and verse 2 and i will make of thee a great nation and i will bless thee now we read over in proverbs right what was the blessing going to do blessing him would make him rich we go over one chapter say one chapter, one chapter. and verse two yep. and abram was very rich in cattle and in silver and in gold who did this god did it he said he would bless him and one short chapter later abraham was very rich say very rich very. should very rich be part of your vocabulary yes. is it part of god's vocabulary yes then it better be part of your vocabulary if you are going to walk with God the Holy Ghost are you getting this yes. so the first thing God did for Abraham was make him rich and the second thing we see a little bit later that he healed them and renewed their youth the Bible says they were both well stricken in age or in years and so god had to come and do something to him and he turned back time literally to the point where sarah could have a child mm -hmm. and she got a lot better looking too mm -hmm. did she not yes. twice kings tried to take her into their harem right. and she was in her 80s she didn't look like she was in her 80s right. so we can see god the holy ghost healing and turning back time and I, I read the years here that would be about 30 years say 30 years. 30 years 30 years God turned back the time of Abraham and Sarah in their physical body that means every cell of their body was turned back in time for 30 years so you have precedence for what to believe for get mad at me but you're getting mad at God and his Bible he does this did he do it yes. then he does it and they are the father and mother you could say of our faith Amen. first made them rich very rich and then turned back time and healed their bodies 30 years people that are joined up with this ministry members and partners can expect these things you will look far younger than your age dictates this exists in this house say youth renewal, youth renewal. Exists, exists in this house, in this house. and it's getting better it's getting stronger and it's getting we go farther from glory to glory is there a glory of youth yeah. i'm just telling you like it is why would youth renewal exist in this house because we worship the holy ghost and we know him as one who renews youth proverbs chapter 4 verse 20 my son attend to my words incline thine ear unto my sayings say my sayings so he's got words and sayings what is that that means saying the word is this too difficult attend to saying the word and that's how you can incline your ear to it verse 22 for they my words spoken are life to those that find them and health to all their flesh how much flesh all their flesh his words are life and health to all their flesh in the margin of my bible it says medicine 
so it's life and medicine to all their flesh so everybody in this house of faith these words are life and health and healing and medicine and youth renewal to all their flesh get it straight these things are markers of a Holy Ghost worshiper you get exposed to them by worshiping the Holy Ghost exposed to what exposed to his wealth and prosperity exposed to his healing and health and exposed to his youth renewal they're markers that come on you and can be seen because you worship the Holy Ghost these things are markers of a Holy Ghost worshiper all these things worketh that one spirit he works these things I mean I could take you through each one of these things I you know I can't do a whole message well, I can and have that whole message is on prosperity whole messages on healing and health right whole messages on youth renewal I'm combining them to show you that these are things that he does and he works all these things and it's 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 stronger here in this house because we know him does this make sense first yes. Corinthians chapter 12 verse 11 but all these worketh that one and self same spirit who would that be the Holy Ghost he's working all these things what things the prosperity the healing and health and the youth renewal all these worketh that one and self same spirit dividing to every man severally as he wills so he's the, he does this to every man say every man, every man. as he wills well that just means that sometimes he wills and and sometimes he doesn't will no that's not what it means at all no. it's as he wills there is a way that he wills to do it for every man mm -hmm. are you here second peter chapter 1 verse 21 for the prophecy came not in old time by the will of man right we're talking about the scriptures the prophecy of the scriptures came not in old time by the will of man but holy men of god spake as they were moved by the holy ghost it had to be the holy ghost will they were speaking as he willed not as they willed but as he the holy ghost will they spoke say they spoke. they spoke now the first thing you should understand here is that his will is that they spoke mm -hmm. can you see that yes. the first will that came on those people was that they would speak and then they spoke what he gave them and then they spoke all of these verses of scripture right all the promises of god they spoke them and that was his will he works all these things according to his word spoken when you speak them listen when you speak them he begins working them them what them things them promises oh them things oh them promises when you speak them he begins working them in your life as he wills that's his will it's his will that you speak and it's his will that it's that word that you speak is this making sense yes. well if you're going to run with me and the people that are joined up with me you're gonna have to speak some things and believe some things Yes. wealth and riches shall be in this house healing and health shall be in this house and youth renewal shall be in this house mm -hmm. Holy Ghost worshipers demonstrate this say I'm a Holy Ghost worshiper and I demonstrate this I demonstrate 
wealth and riches mm -hmm. I demonstrate healing and health I demonstrate youth renewal all these things are part of my vocabulary are they part of your vocabulary well this blessing rests on me and I expect these things the same blessing rests upon you if you're part of this household of faith and that same blessing rests on you and you can expect these things say I can expect, I can expect these, things. these things you can expect wealth you can expect healing and health complete healing and health Amen. and you can expect your youth to be renewed yes. well, as my partner I'm not only just believing for me I'm believing for you I'm expecting it I'm actively believing it I'm actively saying it and I'm actively walking with the Living God the Holy Ghost who sees you he knows you and when you worship him he begins to influence you make sure you change your vocabulary to be in agreement with him and agreement with me and if you don't like it well go somewhere else you're too late for me I don't want people writing to me telling me trying to talk me out of it are you kidding me I'm I'm too far gone I'm too happy I'm too blessed I'm too healed Amen. my youth is renewed and I'm getting richer by the day say I'm getting richer, I'm getting richer. by the day this is who the God I worship and serve is I've come to know him as a God of prosperity and wealth I've come to know him as one who heals and works these things works healing and health mm -hmm. and works youth renewal I've come to know him as this yes. this is who he is I guarantee you you start worshiping you start to know him and you'll begin to see his glory and part of his glory is wealth and riches part of his glory is youth renewal part of his glory is complete healing and health who do you think you think he's a sick God this is who he is and more but you got to start somewhere where did he tell you to start riches where do you start with Abraham riches well agree with me and I'll take you there did you hear that agree with me and I will take you there he says the same thing agree with him and he'll take you there agree with him and his promises and he will take you to where that promise it says well I'm called to take you there and beyond and the beyond is really good but you have to begin somewhere well some would say <laughs> some would say that these are signs of apostasy you've been under a rock they would say that this message this kind of message knowing the Holy Ghost as God and walking with him and his blessings and who he is is a sign of apostasy or departing from the faith well you know what I say it's true I'm departing from your faith your lack of faith your unbelief in who God is you don't even know him stop pretending you do well I'm called to take you here where the Holy Ghost is God and you walk with him by saying words and you get to enjoy all of his stuff like you're swimming in it say I'm swimming in it all of his stuff Holy Ghost Holy Ghost Woo, Holy Ghost mm -hmm. <laughs> Exodus chapter 33 and this this was where Moses you know Moses kept going up on the mountain visiting with God hanging out with him and uh, and he said I show me your glory remember that and we we're talking about seeing the glory of the Holy Ghost and being changed into that image well here uh, Exodus chapter 33 and verse 18 and he said I beseech thee show me thy glory and then verse 19 and he said I will make all my goodness pass before thee Moses said hey show me your glory and God said I will make all my goodness say my goodness, my goodness. 
my goodness he's gonna make his goodness his stuff pass before Moses if he saw his glory he saw his stuff are you here it is who he is his stuff is who he is are you getting this his glory is who he is all of his goodness you can't separate him from his goodness you can't separate him from his wealth you can't separate him from his power of youth renewal you can't separate him from his healing and health it is who he is it's part of his goodness and when you see him you are changed into that we behold his glory remember that are you still here second Corinthians chapter 3 verse 17 and 18 we behold him and we're changed into that image that thing we see you see yourself that way you see yourself the way he is you see yourself as a rich person say I see myself, I see myself. As, a as a rich person you see yourself as a healed and healthy person say I see myself, I see myself. as a healed and healthy person then you see yourself as a younger and better looking person say I see myself as a younger and better looking person oh how can you say that yeah do you know how good looking he is you can't stand it that's how good looking he is well one word for glory I said this earlier is the word wealth and when you start beholding him and his glory you're beholding his wealth is there anyone wealthier than the Holy Ghost no and you're being changed into his image you're being changed into a wealthy person you're being changed into a healthy person you're being changed into a younger and better looking person deal with it these are markers of people that are Holy Ghost worshipers mm -hmm. and I'm one of them say I'm one of them and we serve him for his benefits you can't separate him from his benefits so if we're serving him we're serving him for his benefits mm -hmm. well we go from glory to glory from one glory to the next level of glory and when this is over if you can hear this when this is over we will end up owning it all mm -hmm. I know that's difficult for people to believe right now but when you start to know him and see him for who he is and are changed from one glory to the next into his image we will end up owning it all Holy Ghost I thank you for these people that many of them have been transformed this evening by these words and they are beginning to face life anew with a new level of glory and a new level of success that comes from knowing you and you are beginning to energize them and place them in positions that they could not stand without you but it's not them it's you your glory on them your wealth on them your healing and health on them and your youth renewal on them and they are blessed and we're all blessed by you Holy Ghost and we thank you that we are blessed and prosperous and healed and younger in Jesus name amen. amen if you have a tithe or an offering hold it in your hand say this after me Holy Ghost I worship you you are a great God of wealth and I serve you and I walk with you in this great wealth and I thank you that you've completely transformed me into a rich person and a wealthy person in Jesus name amen the father is in heaven Jesus at his right hand your God in the earth today.